So Black Kin is, um, I would call it a, a fable of, um, of power and it's, um, it tracks uh, a president of an unnamed country is deposed and his um, chef and barber and portraitist are imprisoned after the coup and um, are forced to sort of account for what they've done and how they've inadvertently propped up his regime even though they worked for him in a kind of non-political capacity. Um, they still, um, just by sort of nourishing him or rendering his, his portrait um, or by um, grooming him, have, um, have lent him a kind of legitimacy. And then the significant women in their lives um, speak in turn and uh, they're meant to sort of signal that um, the kind of moral and psychological fallout um, in a in a political situation where there's a, a corrupt leader um, and how that's sort of trickled down to the general public. I wanted to get at this um, issue of women not simply being um, victims. So I started out with the male voices and then realised that they needed a counterbalancing um, force where, um, you know, these women are not sitting in the shadows waiting for the men. Um, they're just as implicated in, in many of the cycles of abuse that are set in motion, whether they're personal or political. Um, and so um, it's meant to kind of um, show, I guess, the, the, the pain and the hurt that's inflicted um, by the men, but that has also been um, endured by them at the hands of the women. So.